Hi everyone, I'm Jingoy, and welcome to Digital Banking with CIMB, where we talk about all things digital banking to help you reach your life goals. Now that you're here with us, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you'll get notified whenever we upload a new video. Interest rate per annum, ADB, maintaining balance. Those are just a few terms you'll encounter when talking about bank accounts. In today's episode, we'll discuss the most important banking terms you should know. Let's dive straight into the topic. The first banking term you should know about is maintaining balance. This is the amount that banks require you to keep in your savings account. Most traditional banks set a minimum maintaining balance in their deposit account in order to make up for the cost of handling and maintaining their customer savings account. Good news though, with CIMB Bank, you can withdraw from your savings as much as or equivalent to your current balance because we have zero maintaining balance. You don't have to worry about added charges that may come if you fall below a minimum maintaining balance. Another important banking term you need to know is Average Daily Balance or ADB. Your ADB is the total number of daily balances in your account divided by the number of days in a month. Banks use your average daily balance to calculate interest instead of using your monthly, weekly, or yearly balance. So you're sure to get the most out of your savings. Finally, the most important banking term you need to know is savings interest. Basically, interest is the money the bank pays you when you deposit your savings with them. It is presented as a rate per annum, meaning per year, and is usually credited to your deposit account every month. Interest is also a way for you to make sure that your money is future-proof and can keep up with inflation rates as it adds more value to the money you save. Now that you're familiar with the most important banking terms, let's try to compute for interest. As a general rule, you may compute your interest earned for a month by using this formula. Your ADB times the number of days in the month divided by 360, multiplied by the bank's interest rate. Using this, you'll arrive at your gross interest earnings or earnings before taxes. Suppose you have 100,000 pesos in your savings account with CIMB on the first day of the month. Given that you have this amount in your account, you can qualify for 4% per annum interest rate. At that point in time, your ADB will be 100,000 pesos as well. Following the equation, we can calculate your interest for the day. So we have 100,000 pesos times 1 over 360 multiplied by 4%. Your gross interest on the first day of the month is at 11 pesos and 11 centavos. For each day that you don't deposit or withdraw money from your account, you're earning 11 pesos and 11 centavos. Now, if you deposit 20,000 pesos on the 11th day of the month, add another 20,000 pesos on the 24th, you'll arrive with an ADB of 118,000 pesos by the 31st day of the month. When computing for your interest for the entire month, you will get 408 pesos and 89 centavos as your gross interest earnings. To compute for your net interest, meaning what you get after taxes, all you need to do is subtract 20% from your gross interest. Following our example, we'll have 408 pesos and 89 centavos times 1 minus 20%. Your net interest earning is at 327 pesos and 11 centavos. With CIMB Bank, you can enjoy up to 1,600% more on your savings than the country's leading banks. You enjoy up to 4% per annum interest on your savings in two ways. You can maintain a minimum of 100,000 pesos in your UpSave or GSAVE account. Or you can grow your average daily balance on your UpSave or GSAVE account each month for the qualifying period. It's definitely worth saving more. For more details on our 4% per annum interest promos, you can check out the link on our description box. Thanks for watching today's episode of Digital Banking with CIMB. Remember, smarter choices help you move forward to reach your life goals. Don't forget to follow us on social media to stay updated on our latest products and promos. Comment down below on what topic you think we should talk about on our next episode. Until next time, stay safe!